Hey there, Dr. T here with another installment of the Train Your Brain vlog. Today I'd like to talk to you about something real important when it comes to brain health and something that is at the root of everything we do here at Apex Brain Centers. That is neuroplasticity. Now as its name implies, neuro meaning brain, nerve, nervous system, uh, has the ability to change over time and that's the plasticity part. Plasticity meaning moldable, changeable. So the fact is we can change the brain in short periods of time, but also to over long periods of time. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. So there is a, an upside to neuroplasticity and there's also a downside or a dark side to neuroplasticity. Most people are unaware of the downside, but when you think about it, it's pretty easy to understand. Uh, if you have something like a motor vehicle accident that causes you to uh, see things differently, balance differently, think differently, uh, those are what we call maladaptive uh, aspects of neuroplasticity. So the brain has changed for the negative with compensations and adaptations that will get you through in the short term, but really will pose greater problems in the long run. So those are aspects of plasticity uh, that are negative. Now, talking about different types of learning or plasticity, we have things that can happen in an instant that cause our brain to change and grow and adapt in a way that will save our life. If you have a motor vehicle accident because of something you did in the car that caused you to have that accident, uh, then your brain learns that very quickly so it doesn't do that again. You go down a dark alley <clears throat> and you get mugged or attacked, uh, your brain learns very quickly not to go down dark alleys. So those are very, very quick, hardwiring experiences that occur in the nervous system really more to save our life, to keep us safe. Uh, now, neuroplasticity, as, we, as most of us know it, involves doing things over time, learning a new language, learning how to play a musical instrument, <clears throat> sports, uh, rehabilitation from brain injuries and things that we see here on a daily basis, like adulthood learning and behavioral issues, ADHD, OCD, PTSD. Now, we may get into these situations fairly quickly, but to get out of them can take time because we have to train the brain over time how to readapt uh, to its environment, both externally and internally. Uh, so that's the uh, neuroplasticity as we know it, and we can use to our advantage certain techniques, practices, therapies, uh, everything from high-tech neurological rehabilitation modalities uh, to mindful meditation, which any of us can do at any time free of charge. So we want to be able to train the brain over time with the understanding that the brain can change and grow to the day that we take our last breath. And also, too, we know that we can form new nerve cells at any point in our lives, so we can use neuroplasticity to help promote uh, the usage of those new cell, the new nerve cells that are formed so that we can make greater and stronger connections over time as opposed to things kind of pulling away, retracting and dying off as many think they do over time. So neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to change and grow over time, something we can exercise, something we can push in the right direction, uh, either through our own practice or with help of uh, somebody like a functional neurologist. So if you have any questions, give us a call, 828-708-5274. We'd love to talk to you more about the uh, benefits of neuroplasticity and therapies based around the concept of neuroplasticity, uh, but also talk about things you can do on your own to help promote uh, better brain function through learning. Uh, that's it for me. We'll see you next time on the Train Your Brain vlog, and you can also visit us at apexbraincenters.com. Have a great day.